Good morning, friends. I figured I'd change up the vlog location because I feel like I'm always in the apartment and it's just like me sitting in the apartment, but I actually took footage for this a while ago, like earlier this week, and I accidentally deleted it, so <laughs> I'm starting the vlog all over again but basically the whole point of this vlog is that I started my bookstagram a couple months ago and this one woman named Eve Blakely has her book coming out at the end of November and so I applied to get an ARC copy and I got one so I'm so excited it's called versions of us by Eve Blakely and I started reading it earlier this week I'm like 30% into it. I think I haven't had a lot of time to read this week, so I haven't gotten too far into it, but so far it's really cute. It's a small town romance and the woman in it is a counselor or like psychologist. She's going to school for psychology and she works at a helpline and then the whole premise is like her dad left her when she was a kid so she fears being abandoned and she's dating this guy and he's starting to get like I think we should get married like he's pretty set on her right but then he leaves her so her biggest fear is being abandoned and the love of her life abandons her so then I'm at the part where it goes forward six months later he comes back to the town that they live in so he's been gone for six months which I like being married and being in the relationship I had with Ty or have with Ty I could not imagine like I feel like romance books hit me so much harder because it's like now I actually know what that would all feel like and like I have that like if Ty did that to me I, I don't even know but anyway so this one is hitting a little hard but I also need to get going because I decided to add this into the reading vlog since I haven't been reading that much and I lost all my footage of me reading this book. I am going to visit my best friend Lily and also be in my hometown. I need to clean out some stuff from my mom's house um, and I'm not bringing stuff to like keep in the apartment but I know I have some books and stuff there that I want to sell like I don't really want to keep them and I have a lot that just needs to be thrown away so I was like honestly Ty is going to work on his Jeep this weekend or today and I just felt like today would be a good day to go get that done I'm just in a like I want to get organized and I want to see what I have there because I feel bad that it's just taking up space in my mom's house so let's go I have like an hour and a half drive let's go also I'm so mad because this new Yeti mug that I got just does not fit in here which is a bummer but gonna log in get some music going and drive I made it to Ludington. It is like 10.30 now, just waiting for Lil to get here, and I'm so excited. It's so weird coming back to your hometown. Like, it's not different at all, but it's been so long since I've been here and gotten coffee at this coffee shop, and it used to be like my everyday, so it's a little weird. I just made it home. It is like, 10 p.m. at night so late but I made it home so I didn't get a chance to read it all today I was very busy all day but I need to shower and go to bed and then tomorrow Ty is going to continue to work on his Jeep he didn't finish it today so I will have all day to like read and chill hey look it's me I showered with my hair braided and glasses on this is how I always look when I finally settle in to read I have been busy all day, it is the next day, but finally I have some time to sit and read before Ty gets home and then I have to make dinner and he's gonna be home pretty soon. So honestly, I need to get reading because I need to get this book finished. Iron Flame comes out on Tuesday and it's Sunday and obviously that will be my next read. So let's get this book finished. What? Huh? Are you talking to M? Yeah, I really said your name. You gonna say hi or anything? She didn't even come to you. She just took my spot and then watched me. Now she's biting you. She's not biting me. She's smelling my smells. 
This is the setup when you have to keep your cat from being naughty by playing with her because she wants all of your attention. So reading and getting a lot of arm exercise by playing with Emmy right now. <laughs> Friends, I am 45% done with versions of us and honestly, I think I figured out about myself that I don't actually like second chance romances, which is no offense to the author or my review for this book, but I just get very frustrated by the fact that he left her and then he comes back and they're kind of in the process of figuring things out together and like working through it, but they're not together or anything. It's just like they're figuring things out. And he also can't tell her what's going on, which I think I have a theory. I think I figured out what is going on. And I was telling Lily about it on Saturday when we were getting coffee and I was like, I think this is what's gonna happen. So if I'm right, I'm gonna update her. But obviously I can't tell you guys cause that would be like the big spoiler of the book. So I may have guessed the plot. We will see if I'm right, but it's, still a really interesting cutesy like small town romance i'm still very invested want to keep reading but it's definitely not one of my favorites just because i don't think i like second chance romances they make me feel so anxious and upset and it's like i almost wish we didn't have the beginning where they're together and everything's fine even though like it adds more to the later part six months later but if i didn't have them happily together then I think I would feel better about him and about them like trying to make things work. But because I know that he left her and then you get like the six months later, the time jump and you know how things were and you know how she was feeling. And then it jumps to when she's been abandoned. I just have a hard time. Like I wouldn't let him back in. I would be so done. So it's hard for me to, I guess, want this romance to happen. Like I just want her to tell him how it is and like, leave him and just be done with him but that's not gonna happen so i will keep reading and keep updating you guys i'm 45 percent of the way through okay guys so this morning on the way to work don't worry ty was driving i was sitting in the passenger seat and i finished reading versions of us because iron flame actually comes out today and i wanted to be able to just jump right into starting that I finished Versions of Us this morning, and honestly, I did really like the ending. It wasn't my favorite because, as I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the Second Chance Romance vibes. I was not feeling that, and Alex Henley isn't one of my favorite love interests. But I will say, her writing is really precious. Like, there's just some really cute moments in there. There's definitely some good quotes, some good highlights. And overall, it was just a fun, cute little romance read. I would definitely recommend if you like the small town beach romance kind of thing going on. And she is doing a series. This is the second book in a series. So the first one is Other Versions of Us, I think. And this is Other Versions. And this is Versions of Us. And then there's a new one coming out that takes place with characters that are in this one which I just love. I love when romance authors do that, so I think that's really exciting, but I would recommend. Overall, I'd probably give it three stars. The cover is beautiful. I loved the characters. I loved the representation of mental health because Alex is traumatized by some things that I can't tell you about. Spoiler alert. Kristen is just so supportive and she's training to be a counselor and all these things, so she works at a helpline. So she's just well equipped to be in this relationship, right? Or maybe not, who knows if they get together, but I did really like this one. So it was a cutesy little romance. It did have like, things were going well and I was only 80% into the book. And so I was like, there's no way this is just gonna finish without anything happening at the end. And so I will say it did catch me by surprise. I guessed the plot but I didn't guess what happened at the end. So there was still a little surprise in there, but overall, just thank you so much, Eve, for sending me a copy of this book. I was really excited to read it. It's my first advanced review copy, ARC, with my bookstagram. So I'm just really thankful that I got the chance to read it. You guys should definitely go check it out. Um, I believe it comes out at the end of November, but I'll put the release date here because I don't actually remember off the top of my head. But Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to keep an eye out because the next video will be me reading Iron Flame, which I'm so excited about. 
But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my bookstagram. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!